Um, how frustrating was it over the last year just to deal with your injury last year? And then I guess how good does it feel to kind of be healthy at this point? Yeah, I mean, a lot of us said I wasn't very frustrated um, going through that year and, you know, just battling through that injury. I'm glad I did and didn't just uh, stop playing, but I've definitely grown uh, a, a tremendous amount from that. It allowed, it allowed me to drop weight and focus on um, getting muscle and things that I needed to do from the beginning. Um, just really rehab and focus on things that I should have done before uh, coming to college and did in high school. And so um, I'm very happy to be healthy now. You know, I had that ankle thing, but I'm doing much 100% with that. And so uh, every opportunity I get on the field, whether it's four plays or 20 plays, um, I know that I can make a play to help the defense. So. Uh, you spoke about the weight loss, I guess. What made you want to do that? And I guess, what, how's it benefited you this year? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was um, the injury aspect. I would always have little nicks and bruises of twist here, turn there, on, you know, whether it be ankle or shoulder. And um, since dropping weight, that allowed me to just feel better faster. And I've gotten much, much stronger from it, um, putting on more muscle. And so I, I'm really glad I did that. And then when you guys are in three down, mm -hmm. are you guys more focused on rush lanes or just doing whatever it takes to get to the quarterback? Um, you know, three down, I think it's more about the motor you have. Obviously, some guys get one-on-one, -on -one, some guys don't. And, you know, it allows three down, allows the guards and the tackles to kind of double and do different things. But, um, you know, if we do our job and continue to get after the quarterback and don't stop rushing, uh, you'll, you'll get there. So. And then it, this goes back to your recruiting days, but your dad says he's a way better cook than you. Are you? Um, he's second behind me, and then it's my Uncle Bill, and then it's my dad. So he's up there, but not first. <laughs> Knowing how much they pass versus maybe where they pretty much run the ball. Right, yeah, obviously you got to switch it up, you know, facing the team that throws the ball 40 times versus four times a game. Um, but that won't stop us from, you know, getting to the quarterback and helping out the guys in the secondary that will cover. Um, we got to do our part in the pass game too, so we look forward to that. And then last one for me, how have you seen the defensive line kind of evolve from the first game to now? I think it's just a matter of finally playing as a unit. You know, the D-line, um, we have great players from the first guy to the third guy. And, you know, playing from the front to the linebackers to the safeties, it all comes together. And then guys can go out there and make plays and do the things that they know that they can do, that they've been waiting to do. So uh, we hope to continue to do that. Where have you improved the most? Is it your vision? Is it your, your hand control? Where have you improved the most? I think, honestly, the biggest thing that I've put on is, you know, the punch off the ball. You know, I've always been able to rip off and get off blocks and having the shoulder issues back in the day that caused me um, to not be as great at that and now being healthy with that, um, I'd say that's probably my number one strength is striking off the ball, being able to defeat double teams and um, really be a, a stellar in the run game. So I think that's definitely what I've grown the most at.